Search teams are racing against time to find survivors of the earthquake in Syria and Turkey. The death toll now stands at more than 6,300. It is still expected to rise. Freezing weather conditions are endangering survivors and complicating rescue efforts. Countless people are trapped under heaps of rubble and collapsed buildings. In your multicultural spotlight, an Indianapolis man who is in Turkey trying to stay calm amid the devastation. He's not sure when he will make it back. He's connected to a local agency called Migros Aid. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey explains how they're working to raise money to support ongoing needs there, Katira. Well, Phil Mohammed Alomehim is a Syrian native and now an American citizen. He recently went back to the region to visit family. Some of them are among the thousands who've lost their lives. The devastation left behind after a massive earthquake hit Turkey and Syria is widespread. And Mohammed Almohaim from Lebanon, Indiana, was right there when it happened. So him, so yeah, he's, he's, ter uh, he's mentally terrible, like he's sad. And he's originally from the region and through an interpretation from his son, he says he went back to see family and for a dental procedure. But the visit took a turn. He lost his auntie's husband. He has uh, four of his... Uh, aunties uh, ch children that are in the hospital injured right now and then uh, there are four more that are under the ground right now under the buildings the Almohaim family escaped Aleppo in 2011 and eventually resettled in Lebanon Indiana since then they've been connected with the local nonprofit Migros Aid Joel Vestal is the founder hearing about the tragedy is hard but it's tougher knowing a member of the community is deep in it grieved that they have already gone through so much trauma through the years of leaving war and then this happening. For five years now, Migros Aid has offered support to various immigrant and refugee communities, most recently Ukrainians, and are taking steps to support those impacted by the earthquake. I was overwhelmed and my eyes filled with tears. Almo Helm says even though people are camped outside in the cold, he's somewhat grateful to be there. I am very happy. I am very happy. He's been able to buy coats and blankets for families with the money he brought for his procedure. A sad turn in terms of the death toll, but grateful for being able to do something. And Migros Aid is holding a community event to kick off fundraising efforts this Thursday at the Westside Episcopal, Episcopal Community Center. Now, Muhammad says he's not sure when he'll make it back to Indiana, but for now, asks people to pray for families in the region. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.